Hi, my name is Seth Lakeman, and I was asked to be part of Midsummer Murders um, as they wanted me to play the part of a character called Johnny Carver um, in this episode that features uh, his voice and his song. Uh, I arranged lyrics that I was sent through of this very uh, torturous murder ballad. Uh, I've ended up recording it here now at Wendy House Productions. Seems to have gone really well, and it's a pleasure to be part of this this whole uh, production. For this show, I was asked to um, uh, do a bit of acting, a bit of voiceover, uh, and um, it was uh, something I've never really done before. So uh, it was uh, it was quite interesting and uh, a bit of fun to to play out the role of Johnny Carver. The main uh, girl, Melody, uh, is supposed to be a, um, a singer who has never been allowed to perform professionally. And she, uh, and at the end, I think, gives too much away, we find out whether she can or not. And for that, we got a girl called Lucy Jones, who I think her main claim to fame was that she came second to Jedward in X Factor many years ago. Uh, God knows why, because she is a terrific performer. Hello, I'm Lucy Jones, and I'm playing the role of Melody Carver. My character is a young, aspiring folk singer who's grown up in the village and she's starting to uh, come out of her shell slightly. She wants to know about her past and things that maybe people haven't been entirely honest with her about. And she plays the daughter of a man whose brother was a great uh, folk music hero and he, the father, was also in a band with, among other people, uh, Clark Peters. Too fascinating kind of uh, hearing about her journey to becoming an actress in, in this um, you know, coming from X Factor and all that kind of stuff, so actually finding out what Simon Cowell is really like, uh, it's quite uh, insightful. Growing up I always wanted to be an actor slash singer. I wanted to work in some way as an entertainer or a performer. And then in 2009 I auditioned for The X Factor. I did well, I came eighth in the series. That was my first job, I went into Les Mis in the West End. I just did American Psycho, the musical in London, which was really cool. And then I've come into Midsummer Murders, so everything recently has been to do with death and murder, which is so unlike me, I'm quite happy. <laughs> and when we found Lucy, we took Lucy down to the studio with Seth, and we spent a day working through, and her voice and Seth's music just came together like that. They worked, it was a pleasure. I love live music anyway, I love being in the recording studio with the bands, but that day was special when you could just see the chemistry working and her voice on his sound, we just knew it was going to be terrific for the film and terrific outside the film. I've got it in my player at home, I love it. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to work in a studio with Seth, who wrote the Ballad of Midsummer, the, the song that the episode is based around. Uh, he's got this fantastic voice, this fantastic folk rock voice. and I spend a lot of time in, in and out of studios and writing with different people and recording bits and pieces, but. It was such a pleasure to work with him uh, and I was lucky enough to record a version of it, just him and I messing around in the studio together and it was just fun. It was really fun and when you have those long days in studios, it, no matter how much you love your job, it, it can become tedious and you can feel drained. But I just left feeling elated. When I first heard Lucy, I have to say I was, um, I was taken aback by her voice. Uh, she's such an intuitive um, talented singer and um, I was really really impressed by what she's doing uh, so uh, we ended up singing a ballad together um, and the voices match really well which is quite exciting for anything in the future she's um yeah, she's a, she is a true talent, so it was, it was, uh, I think it was kind of great to get here uh, and fate from the Midsummer Murders part, so. Mm -hmm.